package. You play with the ice. You play with the ice. You know, because it makes a nice compact swarm. They're, they are all around the queen. <laughs> I'm just going to give them a touch of sugar water here. And the queen So there she is in her cage. Isn't this insane? <laughs> like, how can we do this? The thing is not to step too close because you crush a bunch of bees to get too close right now. So it's gonna take, it'll probably take half hour, 45 minutes for them to really settle in on that steak. Just done by bees. Yeah, so this is a good opportunity to get your, your bee frass on you, on the white jacket. Um, because these bees have been in that cage since, I believe it was last time. So these are, well on top of that, these bees very well. Throws them on the ground. Into a bulk box and then, so it could be bees. A dozen, 20 different drones, so she could very well put these things in Okay. Oh, I want some more of you guys. Oh, whoa. Is that, is that a drone? <laughs> it looks like it. Oh, yeah. It's really cute. Oh, yeah. That's a thick guy. That's a drone. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Yeah, don't get too used to how gentle these are. <laughs> Regular <laughs> colonies are not quite this nice. It, so, it kind of looks like it's I guess you got two options. Well, number one is to catch them in a, in a swarm trap, which would be the easiest thing because that way they just move in on you and you never have, you never actually ever actually see this. But if you see a swarm and you want to catch it, usually it will be on a branch, um, on a tree. And what you can do, if I find a branch I can reach, and this is usually the case, they're on a branch that's up high. And then you kind of have to make the calculation is it worth it to get that swarm? Because what are the chances I break my neck trying to get that swarm? Uh, and that's the sort of thing you have to decision you got to make for yourself. Um, yeah, they're free, but <laughs> the, medical bills. the medical bills I think I think would be more than the bees right now, and then come back uh, probably after the second lab and move them over to where they need to be in the eighth. Because generally you don't want to move colonies within an apiary. Um, you know, the rule is three inches or three miles. You've got to move them at least three miles so that none of the foragers remember how to get back to their old home. Um, but here, because it's a new swarm, they haven't really, they don't know where they're going around here. They should stick together. I'm gonna have to get, I think I'm going to have to shake the bees off before I can get that out of there. Um, So you would take your branch. Oh. I was wondering how you were gonna do that. And <laughs> something like that. I'll lay it here at the entrance so they can get in. And then we gotta get our queen off. And I'm just gonna put her in the middle here. And they should cluster around their queen again. 